My elder brother, who, wa who I watched grow, stumble, fall, get back up, and grow again. I watched you when we were young. We fought so much as children. We were constantly at each other's throats, and we didn't get along very well. But we always had each other's backs. And when anyone tried to start fights with us or tried to bully one of us, the other one stepped in. You were my protector when we were young, even if we couldn't stand each other at times. <laughs> and when we were together, we were a force to be reckoned with. And I always watched any time you stepped in for me. I watched you as a teenager. Even if we drifted apart during those ages, we went separate ways mostly, but still I watched. I watched you develop the hardworking mindset you have now. You may not have naturally excelled at school, but you persevered. You got better grades than other people who may have been naturally more talented than you, but because you always strove to be the best at everything you were, I watched. I watched you foster a relationship with your first love, your mom. At the tail end of our teenage years, I watched you model forgiveness towards me. At the end, we started to redevelop our relationship. You forgave me for everything I did to you as a child. And then I, I was able to watch you build your relationship with Christ. And through that, you showed me what Christ's forgiveness looks like. As a young adult, I watched you stumble. I saw you drift from your faith. But I also watched you find your way back to God. I watched you give up the things you wanted to so desperately to serve God. In some ways, for a short time, I became your spiritual elder brother. But you didn't leave the, God, the gifts God gave you as a teenager behind. Your discipline, your focus, your drive has meant that recently you've taken your place back as my big brother in the spiritual side of things too. And believe me, I have been watching. Now I'm excited because I get to see the man you become as a husband, as a leader of a household. I hope to be able to watch you love Nicole as you loved your mom. I hope to be able to watch you protect her as you protected me. I hope to be able to watch you forgive her as you forgave me. And I hope to be able to watch you put God first in everything that you do. Because JT, God has given you so much. If you stay the course, God is going to use you in this marriage for great things. Amen. Now to Nicole. I haven't known you nearly as long as I've known JT, obviously. But as I've seen some things you have, but I have seen some things you've done in him. So that is what I want to talk to you about. I remember when JT was being so secretive about this girl who he was talking to, who used to go to our school. I've said this so many times, but you have so much in common with my mom. But I don't want to talk to you today about that. I want to talk to you about what you've been able to draw out in my brother. The good that you were able to bring in him as you dated. I've seen you teach him some bad habits and some good habits. But I've also been privileged to watch you come in as a helpmate for him. You have matched his energy when you have needed to. And you have slowed him down when you have needed to. Sorry, something burning my eye. <laughs> I wonder what it is. <laughs> you've, been a you've been able to help him communicate. And you've taught him so much patience. I've also seen you lean on him. And I think that's good because he needs someone who would lean on him when they need to. Balance is such an important area of life. And I think for the longest time, he didn't have that before he met you. And I didn't think he had that for as much as he may care to admit, he found it in you. So what I hope to be able to see in you is I hope to see you help him stay centered on God. I hope to see you forgive him when he falls short. And I hope to see you be there for him because he needs it more than any of us will ever know. It's been a privilege and an honor to witness the union between you two. And until you both stand at the right hand of God, may our marriage be a glorifying one. Thank you all. Amen.